He can cook fried rice in under one minute and is the world record holder for the most incredible imaginary backflips. Returning to the FameLab stage after becoming first runner-up last year, I present you the self-proclaimed, self-professed legend that is Afik Abdul Hamid. Test, test, okay, cool. Test, 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 test. sound of the universe, or are there worlds out there calling out to us while we are alive right now at a time when we can tune in to listen using this device, the radio? I became a microwave communications engineer to tackle the questions of are we alone in the universe and do aliens exist? If you take light, which is a type of wave, and you stretch it out, you get something called a radio wave that can fly through the air and carry messages. On Earth, we use these waves to communicate instantly at long distances and to watch live football matches at Old Trafford. Go Chelsea! But some of these waves escape into space where they race at the speed of light, never to be heard from again, unless you have a radio telescope. It looks like your Astro TV dish, but the size of a building. And while a normal telescope looks at the sky, a radio telescope listens to the sky. And we can use these telescopes to listen for the radio signals of aliens hidden among the stars. Just like how you would tune your car radio to Hits FM, all you have to do is tune your telescope to detect narrowband signals coming from space. Signals with a very small frequency range that stand out against the natural sounds of the stars. But it's like trying to find a really small needle in a really big haystack. Our galaxy is home to billions and billions of stars. Which ones do we listen to? And our own technology, televisions, mobile phones, and microwave ovens produce radio noise that get in the way. <laughs> I'm going to need a bigger telescope. By using a device called an interferometer that combines the waves taken in by telescopes all over the globe, then factoring in the precise time the waves hit each telescope, we can build an artificial telescope almost half the size of planet Earth. And here's an example. It's called the SCA, or the Square Kilometer Array, and it's something kind of awesome. It's the largest, most sensitive telescope ever made by mankind. When it's built, it'll be able to detect an airport radar on a planet 30 light years from here. That's like being able to see this coin on top of the Eiffel Tower all the way in New York City. The SCA will allow us to listen for the faintest alien signals. There's one. And maybe within the next century, answer the question of are we alone in the universe? Hold up, I think I hear something. The search continues. Thank you. Well, judges? So, um, very interesting. When will the square kilometer array be operational? Square Kilometer Array has been in the dreams of astronomers since the 1990s. And we are building it in phases. It'll be built in Africa, of all places, and the outback of Western Australia in order to avoid a lot of radio frequency interference. And right now, we're going through some of the proving stages in order to get the technology right. 
the SCAR phase one, which will tap into different ranges of frequencies, and the year that we will turn this thing on and finally listen for those signals, among other things, is 2024. So about six years from now, keep your dates set for that. We might get the answer of whether we are alone. 2024. Thank you. It's interesting. Remind me of the movie Contact. Yes. Um, so I just want to ask, what's the greatest discovery ever been found using this uh, device technology that you presented? Sorry, say again? Greatest discovery, some discovery that has been found, any sign of extraterrestrial life? Oh, well, actually, the search for extraterrestrial is just one of the things that the Square Kilometer Array will be able to do. If you think about the Large Hadron Collider and what that did for physics, the Square Kilometer Array will do for astronomy. So when it comes online in 2024, we will not just look for, uh, listen for the signals of alien civilizations, we'll also be doing a lot of research into proving whether Einstein was correct. We'll be looking for uh, galactic magnetic fields, and we'll be looking at the, the Big Bang in a way that we've never seen it before. So a lot of the fundamental questions we'll be able to answer, but it's still a journey to get there. All right. Thank yes. you so much, Afik. Let's give him a round of applause.